In this video, I wanted to go over a little bit more as far as just giving some tips and tricks regarding adding images and working with video in HTML and CSS for our class. So here you can see an atom. I made a little website where I have a hero image on the back, I have some text, and then I also have a video here. However, this video is an example here of how we can embed video using a link. So first off, to draw your attention over to the project, notice how I have one JPEG and one MP4. Both of these uh, media pieces I stored in a media folder. Some folks get really nitty gritty on this and what they'll actually do is make folders for things like images or video. Just because I had the two, I decided to opt for a media folder. Now, this is where you need to be careful. Remember as far as you're linking for the different elements here. Notice in line five here, I've linked my CSS document and I'll show you that in a second. But to talk a little bit about making a video element inside of HTML and CSS, notice that I do have the source element here where I'm pointing into the media folder and then I'm targeting that Moose video uh, MPEG-4. Now I'm also setting a width and a height here, and I'm also telling it to include the controls. You have a couple of other options, including autoplay and loop. Uh, I actually normally leave these out though, just because I'm sure you've all experienced it where you go to a website or you have multiple tabs open and you can't find where the audio is coming from. This is why I actually kind of stay away from the autoplay. I never really use it. Also looping as well normally you want to give your user as much control as possible. So if you're going to force it to loop, um, you're kind of taking that control from your user. Now to also show you here, notice that I do have a class here. It is called the hero image. This kind of reflects from the textbook where if I come over and click on the CSS, here you can see where I'm setting as far as all of the different elements you need regarding your hero image. This is a pretty um, constant and in thing right now as far as web design goes. Uh, a couple of things, again, notice here's your background image. I'm pointing to the URL. I'm going into that media folder. I'm finding that JPEG. And also I'm setting the position and size to center and cover. Now, one other thing that you might've noticed here, and this is kind of a quick hack that we'll often use. However, it can lead to troubles down the line. But if you have started working or trying a hero image, what you may see is you may actually see that you'll have an edge around the image. Like if I go ahead and take this code out and let me go ahead and save again. So there you can see in my preview, you see how I'm getting this white edge here. This is the default padding uh, as far as the overall web browser is concerned. You're always going to have that there. So sometimes what web designers will do is we will target everything and we'll remove the margin and padding. One of the drawbacks to this though is that by default as far as your uh, elements are concerned, so for example I have the h1 and h2 in there, if I go ahead and save you can see how it kind of changes that default margin and padding to the heading elements. A couple of ways to address this you could add in as far as the actual tags, you could target them through CSS, you could re-add in that margin and padding, or you could also go through and actually work in the body as well, changing your, your padding and margins there. However, this is one way that we will kind of work with a web browser and kind of force the web browser to accept as far as the margin and padding is concerned. This is an issue across many of the main browsers, Chrome, Firefox, etc. So this is just a quick little fix as far as if you wanted to just make sure that your graphic for your hero is up in the corner and flush against the browser window. And outside of that, notice that I did come in under the body. Uh, I chose to target the body tag just because if I have a hero image, I need to make sure that I can see the text. So, and then I also opted if I jump back into the HTML, Within the div here for the hero image, I did opt to put the video in there. If I were to move it into another area or below the div, it would actually appear below my hero image. As we get further into HTML and CSS, we will be talking about different types of div containers that you can actually have them overlapping. 